Hey everyone, James Holster with In-Depth Outdoors. Today we're in studio. I've got here in front of me one of the new Ice Helix 7s. Uh, this is the, the same unit that I and so many of the guys here at In-Depth Outdoors have been running on the ice for the last few two, three years. Now, this unit stands out because it's been upgraded in a ton of different ways. And I wanna tell you about that uh, because I think this is gonna be one of the hottest fish finders out there on the ice this coming season. So uh, let's start with the monitor. Uh, we've got a protective silicone cover come standard with this uh, platform. Uh, that'll protect your screen. I've never had any issues, you know, damaging a screen while using one of those. Uh, ice fishing is kind of a rough and tumble sport, especially on our gear. So uh, make sure you use that. It'll ensure the longevity of that monitor, that screen for a long time. Uh, and now one of the biggest things to point out with upgrades to this platform uh, is that the screen now has a much higher resolution than previous models. We're at 1024 by 600. It's uh, the same resolution you find on the larger screens, the eights, the nines, the tens. And what that means to the ice angler is really simple. Everything's more crisp, it's brighter, you get more detail. Uh, you know, when you're in that ice fishing mode, you're fishing small jigs for panfish, that just, that finite detail, those tiny little differences in the way information is displayed on a screen, make a huge difference. So I know you're gonna love that. I've been playing with it a little bit, looking at it in simulator mode, uh, compared it to previous models, you can definitely tell the difference. Uh, the next thing to point out here is, this is Hummingbird's new ice shuttle. Uh, they've done a ton of research and development. They've come up with what I think is a fantastic platform to support you know, all of the ice helix units. So I just wanna walk you through it. I think the addition of the shuttle with the Ice Helix 7 just makes this a phenomenal tool out there on the ice. It's so easy to use. Here's one of the things I love about it. Uh, it's super durable. You pick this thing up, you start twisting on it, flexing on it. It is not gonna be uh, one of those cheaply made units. Uh, this is gonna be incredibly durable. It's gonna put up with anything you're gonna throw at it out there on the ice uh, in the you know, course of a normal day of ice fishing. It's got a huge oversized handle. I've got big mitts. You throw some gloves on there, some of the shuttles out there, it's hard to get your hand around that. They've accounted for that, left you a lot of extra space. And really what I think, uh, one of those things that really needs to be pointed out is this shuttle allows for extreme customization. So many ice guys, you know, we want it our way. We want our tools where we want them. We want to be able to add rod holders that suit the way we fish. And that's accommodated here with this shuttle. If you start to look around, uh, you do get two included rod holders. Underneath this rod holder is a quarter 20 uh, fitting. You could remove that rod holder, put anything you want there. And as you go around the handle, another quarter 20 here, another one here, another one under this rod holder. I know in the coming ice fishing season, you'll see me out there on the ice. I'm gonna have a GoPro mounted to this one and a tool holder mounted to this one. And of course, as I get deeper into the season, we're gonna modify from there. On the back, you've got two more quarter 20s here. It'd be a great place for some vertical rod holders. You could uh, uh, use some one inch ram balls. Uh, screw that down in there, add some rod holders, adjust them as you see fit, have a dead stick rod in one that's fishing a hole next to you while you're jigging in another one. Just super customizable. Up here on the front, you can see this is where we've got the transducer cup that holds the transducer. It's got a really nice fit. Won't have to deal with that falling out all the time. And as you can see around the front here, we've got five different quarter 20 attachment points. That allows the, uh, the angler to move that transducer cup where they want it and still have room to add accessories like a transducer arm. Uh, if you're a float guy, you can add that to the uh, transducer cable, but so many of us really do like those transducer arms. You can put one on here and you get to put it where you want it. So uh, now that we've kind of talked about the actual base, the structure of the shuttle, let's talk about some of the refinements here. We've got uh, this, in, this fully enclosed uh, battery compartment. What I love about that is you get those cold days, winds blowing, snow's going, you know, blowing around on the ice. If you've got an open area in your shuttle, it just packs full of snow. Uh, you get it back to your truck, get it back to your house or your hotel room, any place where it starts to warm up, you get water everywhere. This is really sealed up nice. You're just not gonna get a lot of snow accumulated in here. All right, as we 
get deeper into this enclosed portion of the shuttle. One of the basic requirements of any good shuttle build, in my opinion, is you gotta have a master on-off switch that can't be easily bumped. Uh, they've accomplished both of those requirements here. If you look underneath that back hatch, you can see up here in that right corner, master power switch. Takes a little pressure to turn it on, turn it off. The important part about that is with a master power switch, you're done at the end of the day. You hit that switch, the unit powers down, and you can be guaranteed that you're not gonna get up the next day if you don't have time to charge it with a completely dead battery. So that's a really important addition to this platform in my opinion. Now inside the enclosure, uh, something that really needs to be pointed out is, you know, these digital sonar units, they use more power than a mechanical flasher. You need to upgrade the battery if you're gonna fish a long day out there on the ice. So in the past, somebody would pick up an ice Helix 7 uh, or other digital unit, the next purchase they'd make was to replace that uh, factory battery with a quality lithium battery that would provide additional runtime. So that's what I've got back here. Every one of these ICE Helix 7 units comes with a 15 amp hour lithium battery from Norsk. Uh, I've used this battery myself the last three seasons. They've been incredibly reliable. They provide about 15 to 18 hours of runtime. You're not gonna run out of power, running the seven inch out there on the ice all day long. You don't have to worry about, you know, running down your brightness to uh, extend your runtime. This is gonna keep you out there on the ice with plenty of power to spare. And the reason I mentioned power to spare is one of the things I think is really cool about this battery is you've got two integrated USB ports right here. And that just makes this battery so much more versatile. If you want to uh, charge up your cell phone out there on the ice or a handheld GPS unit or power a GoPro camera like we run on the top of our shuttles, this is the most logical and easy to use power supply you're ever gonna have. You just plug in your USB cable, run it to your phone, run it to your handheld GPS, you've got power on demand. And of course you do have the integrated battery meter. Uh, sure, you can turn on the Helix 7, you can get a battery meter status, but who wants to do that when all you have to do is just push the button. Let you know if you need to recharge it or if you're good to go for another day out there on the ice. So that in a nutshell is what to me is really exciting about this new platform. Screen's been upgraded. Obviously the new shuttle is just gonna be awesome. Uh, it's really everything I look for in a shuttle. And with the included uh, lithium ion battery from Norris, all the bases are covered. If you're looking to you know, get into a digital sonar unit, I could not recommend the Ice Helix 7 from Hummingbird more highly. So look for them online at hummingbird.com or at a retailer near you.